Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Chris Yee. And I'm Joy Evans. Today we're taking a look at a game called Warp and Weft. I'm showing the rule book because our box says trauma. Yep. Um, it says it in a very bad font. Yeah, right. Well, the Warp and Weft isn't much better. No. Uh, it's better. It's about weaving. Aww. Does that sound like a bad game? Dip and weave. Uh, here's how it plays. In this game, each person gets their little loom here, along with four buttons, two round, two squares. You put some random scoring cards out here in the middle of the table, and then you have a big bag here full of different strings. So at the beginning of each round, you're going to pull out five strings, one, two, three, four, five, and it's pretty simple. You're going to take one, keep it, and then pet pass the, left, the rest to the person on your left. And this will keep going until everyone has four. You won't keep the final one. Once you have these four, you're going to take time to simply weave these onto your board like this. Now, as you're weaving these, as you get them, you'll weave all four of them. I can put them over or under different the other ones on the board. But once it's in the board, it's kind of there. I might want this one under the board, under the pink one like that. And these stay in pretty well. They also don't tangle. I was very concerned about them tangling, but that is not the case here. Once you have these four in the board, you're then, in player return order, you're going to claim one of the scoring things here with a button. Multiple people can be on the same one. These are going to get points for, if I, for every pink that's next to a red. It doesn't matter what side they're on for every blue that's next to a white. This one gives me points if I have two blues, a white going under one and over the other. And I got points here too. Everyone's going to score for these two here, so you don't have to worry about that. But you have two round buttons. The round buttons claim the bottom cards here and the square ones the top. As you can see, this is pretty terrible. Doesn't really match any of these patterns that are out there. Then you'll redraft five more strings and you'll just keep going until your whole board is filled up. At that point, you will score all the victory points in the middle. So you're gonna get victory points for each of these here. You have these different patterns, the circular ones and the square ones. So the shared goal card here, this is one everyone goes for, if these appear at least once on your loom, you get five points. Then these, you get one point for every time that pattern shows up in your loom. And then you also get, you lose points if you have too many of the same color on a side. So you, that, you might do that because see this one here, red, red, and a pink going underneath it. I can just make this all red and put pinks underneath and get a ton of points. So for each thread that you have that's more than four, you lose a victory point. And whoever has the most points is the winner of the game. So we paused for about 10 minutes and he's still dancing. <laughs> Anyhow. So tired. He wasn't going to stop. So the, uh, the shoelaces. Yes. I really expected, when I first saw this, I was like, I'm going to hate, I'm going to pull them out of the bag and they're going to be all tangled up. Right. But they haven't tangled at all yet. No. Count me in the very surprised camp on that. It's because they're so short, I think. I thought the same thing. I was like, this is pretty impressive. Yes, because I've played enough games or things where there's... And you just if give you throw up. two wires in a drawer... Oh, they're done. Coiled up with rubber bands around them. Yes. And then you open that drawer. They are tangled together irreve irreversibly. irreversibly. If you yes. do two rubber bands, you do two keychains, <laughs> somehow it happens. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's insane. It's also pretty easy to do the weaving. I was like, oh, this is going to be a, a thing going through. I thought the weaving worked okay. It is it is funny how therapeutic that part of it was. At that point, I thought, I can see this, you know? Well, but. I'm not going to make this a long a long review here because it's not a huge game. Um, you're saying that part of the game? That part. Where it lost its therapeutic value for me. Was the drafting? No, the drafting was fine. The drafting's well, amazing. The drafting's quite fun in this, yeah. The the weaving of it, it's like, man, it is it is brain melting in how to try to hit all those patterns and not do too many colors on each side because you want to focus on certain colors and patterns, but you get too many, you start to lose points over three or four, I think. But you're not doing that many patterns. You're doing four at most. Oh, I am because I like to get a lot of points. <laughs> But, but just, you don't. You know, which, I don't yeah, at place all. Do you usually come in in this game? I, I always came in last, I think. 
I don't know, it had that like an Azul type of feel, but crunchier, which is a really, really weird thing to say about this game. What about I, you? Yeah, I was expecting less of this game. Yes. And, <laughs> and that sounds rude, but I'm going to be rude when I say, we, when you first pulled out a bag of shoelaces that were this long and a little board that you like put them in the edges, like, okay, here we go. And then there's actually a game. I was also expecting it to not be good. That's why I brought it out. (laughs) Yes, Um, during a light game thing, yeah. Yeah, well, the weaving and stuff. And I've never been a fan of – I've had to learn how to sew buttons and things, and I hate everything about it. Yeah. Typically games that say, hey, do this kind of dexterous thing. It's not a dexterity game, but do this dexterous thing. It's not not bad, right? But, like, it actually pays off because of the way that those scoring cards work in this game. Right. I mean, the scoring card, it was interesting to a point. I think towards the end is where I started getting frustrated because you have so many things to go over. And do I go over? Well, I mean, that's different than this pattern. And this, I don't know. It was just, for me, it was brain melting towards the end. I didn't mind it. I was very pleasantly surprised about the drafting. Although, speaking of components, I challenge anyone to reach in that bag and pull five out at a time. <laughs> yeah. You will, uh, you're going to pull either three or 17. <laughs> um, yes. This is like that old Schutzels game, like pour out seven things from this cup. 21. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I just had to finally just pull them out one by one. But there's not a lot to it, but I, I'm a big fan of slow rolling the scoring. So I'm claiming this one. I'm claiming this one. So at the beginning, I pick something, but I'm thinking about the other ones, but I don't have to choose because also it stops people from hate drafting me. Right. They yeah. can't necessarily hate draft me if they look over and they don't know what my scoring is going to be yet. Mm-hmm. So... I don't know. I I, I, I I get that you didn't enjoy it. What would you give it? I'm coming down at it's not terrible because I do enjoy the drafting. I enjoy the whole tactile part, but it's just too brain melting for me. So I'm actually coming in, went back and forth. I'm actually at five point five on this. So I'm like I That's don't way higher than you led me to believe. I I was gonna come because I did enjoy every aspect except for the game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like even when I was looking through, That's I was like, a quote okay, for the back of the box. I wanted yes. to, I had to prepare for this. I'm like, then I'm like, ah, oh, I do enjoy doing this part. <laughs> you know, it's just the scoring at the end. It's just really, yeah, it just really melted me. For me, I'm giving this one a seven. I had fun with it. I wow. like the the scoring. Uh, that the scoring possibilities are all out there, and at some point in drafting games, you where you've kind of laid plans out, you get your first hand of five. St- Cards, usually in this case, strings, and you go, oh boy, this game gives you that little opportunity to pivot. I think that it's, I, I think that it gives you enough to work with that I, I don't consider this brain melting by any means, but. Uh, My brain's smaller. Only just, a fool would think that. <laughs> I know, like, none taken? <laughs> there's enough, there's not too much. I think it's very cute, and, uh, and it, the game honestly does get a little bit of a bump for originality. Yes. Yeah. I'm right there with Chris. I'm a 7.5. I. I really enjoy it. It's it plays quickly too. It says thirty minutes. It's thirty minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, it feels different. It's a surprise to me because again, when I saw it, I was like, mm-hmm. but I enjoyed it. I thought it worked well. It's easy. Not only was it easy to put them in, it's easy to take them out. I'm like, Da-da-da-da. I'm done. I'm right, cleaning yeah. up the True. game. That's a big deal in this kind of game. So if you have people who like arts and crafts, this is a way to teach them drafting because that's probably something they haven't run across. That's true. Yeah, I don't know. I, I won't speak about most quilting circles. I don't think there's a lot of Magic the Gathering drafts happening there. Sure, I just assume most people in the world haven't heard of drafting. That's not necessarily good. So, but so I would like show them it through. Like if they like sushi, I'll show Sushi Go. Mm-hmm. This is not as simple as Sushi Go. I think the scoring is more complex. Right. Um, but I I also think it's it's doable. You you can get to it. Yeah. So that is Warp and Weft. I'm worried it won't sell because of the name. And the, and the look, and this is one of the few times I almost feel like the cover should just have a picture of the of the component. Yeah, right. no kidding. Sew this thing together. Oh, the components okay. are good. So there you go, folks. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Chris Yee. And I'm Joy Evans. Now back to the knitting loom. We're going to weave now. Weave. <laughs> <laughs>